Blizzard is always trying to suck any sort of money they can out of their consumers, and it never stops with them. But with Overwatch 2 finally releasing on Steam and the big update to go along with it, the game is now being review bombed over the lazy editions, which consist of two hours of story content priced at $15 and no new heroes. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media so you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and live streams I create, consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So, starting off with this The Gamer article, even though I usually do not like The Gamer, Overwatch 2 launches on Steam to mostly negative user reviews. Overwatch 2 fans can now review the game on Steam, and it's going as well as you'd expect. Now, I've liked Overwatch over the years. I also played Overwatch 2 when it launched. But unfortunately, from the beginning of Overwatch 2's history, there were a lot of red flags, right? The whole premise of them creating Overwatch 2 was story. You know, they were supposed to be doing some big campaign, some big, you know, story, or adding some big story element to it. In some way, we were supposed to get some sort of campaign, and then they slowly kind of went away from that. They said, well, we are going to add some story content, but we also still want to focus on multiplayer, which I understand, because Overwatch is known for its multiplayer, but that was back when they said they were keeping Overwatch 1 alive in order to make Overwatch 2 different, and now, looking back at the past few years, all of that was a lie because they said, you know, we're not doing this giant campaign like we originally promised, we're focusing on the multiplayer, they really haven't even added all that many new maps or heroes. I mean, they have been extremely lazy when it's come to Overwatch, and now that they have finally brought it to Steam, they did add some story missions. But first of all, the price for the amount of content is just insane that they thought that this was going to be acceptable. It says it's no secret that Overwatch 2 fans aren't exactly happy with the way development has gone ever since Blizzard scrapped the original game in favor of its arguably inferior sequel. It's a title that's been mired in controversy almost consistently, with a fan base eager to let Blizzard know whenever possible that they're fed up with how things have been going, that is what fans should do. If you feel like a developer is not doing what you want with the game that you have spent money on, you should go on social media. You should complain. You should leave a bad review. You should voice how unhappy you are because if we do not do that, they are going to continue to walk all over us. And this is what they have done to players now, Overwatch 2 story missions will cost $15 for permanent access. Now, this is an article back from June, but it doesn't matter. They have launched now. They do cost $15 for what they're calling permanent access. And you would think $15 would get you a decent amount of content, right? Most games cost $70 now. They're 15 to 20 hours. You'd think that you would be getting a decent amount of content for 15 bucks, but if you go on over to YouTube, there are people who have played through it all, YouTubers, who this is just kind of what they do on the platform. MK Ice and Fire is very well known for their playthroughs of video games. It only went up 19 hours ago. It's got 20,000 views. Look at that timestamp. One hour in 35 minutes. And this is not the only playthrough that is under two hours. There are several YouTubers who are under two hours for the invasion story missions. I'm sorry, I just don't think that that's acceptable. For years, you've been telling people you're finally gonna get the Overwatch content of your dreams. You're finally gonna get exactly what you want. And, well, that has not happened yet again from Blizzard. And now that this poor excuse of an update slash story mission DLC has released, people have taken to Steam to review bomb the game. It is currently sitting in an overwhelmingly negative with 47,984 reviews. So it's only been on Steam for a little while and it is 
already being utterly destroyed and all of the comments here are just people who are saying i'm disappointed that's the unfortunate truth about blizzard i can't really be that disappointed with them anymore because they're constantly doing things that their fan base does not like does not approve of and they don't really care there are some instances where people do really riot and they listen like with the diablo 4 situation and the big update that nerfed all the uh, all the classes and and all of that, they they are going back uh, and reverting those changes. But how often does that really happen with Blizzard? It's not like they're going to have extra story content that they're just magically going to slap into this bundle. They're not gonna lower the price to like five dollars for these story missions there's really nothing that they could do at this point that would make players happy i bet that they're going to try to add some sort of new skins and and, and maybe a new map in the near future but besides that there's nothing that they're going to do and it, it, it sucks because overwatch is a very fun game i put a lot of time into the original overwatch i did play overwatch 2 when it released i was of course very underwhelmed like a lot of people because i was expecting more more heroes, more maps, just a lot new content. And we, of course, didn't get that. But now people are saying, you know, you guys really have messed up big time. You guys suck. The people who make Overwatch porn work harder than the people who make Overwatch. Overwatch 2 has no respect for you. It's an attempt to pry open your wallet while masquerading as the game it used to be. I have said this for so long about so many Blizzard titles. The company is just a shell of the, of the company that once was the Blizzard that we knew and loved and this is really all they care about i understand at the end of the day companies need to make money but they could at least be giving us decent content for the money they expect us to shell out they released Overwatch 2 as a free-to-play business model, which leans more heavily into microtransactions, overpriced skins, and predatory behavior. To make matters worse, they shut down the first game, making it unplayable for people who purchased it, meaning the player base has to move over to this free-to-play business model to keep playing the game. But at least it will have a promised PvE hero mode that would feature character progression, which was a main part of the game's selling point. No, that was cancelled, but you can buy a lighter story mission for only $15. Again, I'm just stuck on this $15 price tag. I'm sorry, it is not worth 15 bucks for an hour and a half worth of content. They forgot to add content for three years. They should make a sequel that includes the whole PvE experience we were promised with skill trees and call it Overwatch 2. That was the original plan, and that is why a lot of us were originally pretty excited for Overwatch 2, because again, the base game, the first title that now doesn't exist, was so good and really fleshed out when it launched and then we really wanted pve and they made all of these promises and then they just decided you know what it, it's just not worth it we're just gonna drop this whole idea we're still gonna launch overwatch 2 which made zero sense and you guys are just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it it's sad to have to talk about another blizzard game letting people down more blizzard products disappointing pointing the fan base because I really wanted them to make Overwatch too good and of course it's not but now that we've got these $15 for an hour and a half story missions and the game has come to steam people are absolutely obliterating them and I don't think that this user score uh, or the all review scores going to change anytime soon. I mean, 47,000 mostly negative and overwhelmingly negative reviews is a lot to handle at once. I, uh, I'm sure after a while, the Blizzard fans will come out of the woodworks and give it some positive ratings, but for now, it is sitting at a overwhelmingly negative on Steam because of this very shallow, just bullshit update from Blizzard. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.